What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and we are going to be looking at Apple. Uh, Apple is basically considered the shining light in the market. It's in probably the most diverse uh, ETFs on the market. Basically Apple makes a huge uh, uh, sector weight within so many different ETFs in the overall market and even today with the market being up eh, little bit than of a half a percent apples kind of down half a percent does that mean that the market's crashing no I, I don't honestly believe that I think Apple has just been a huge guiding light again if we're looking at the overall moving averages and the momentum that Apple has recovered um, again hitting a low around two hundred and twelve dollars again that was in uh, uh, March uh, 23rd ish uh, hitting that very very low there and then coming all the way back up to just on Friday hitting an all-time high at three hundred and thirty one dollars um, so being mindful of that again I think these what we're seeing today is a little bit of selling and just people getting out of that all-time high usually what kind of happens um, it's not coming crashing down to the 21 which I kind of have my first level of support coming in again you can see here on the 5 and 8 exponential moving average it has been writing up quite substantially uh, so you came came here for the, one of the bigger trades so that being said we have an individual basically within 20 to 2 minutes uh, of the market it being open purchased 2500 uh, calls at 300 uh, strike price at a total of thirty dollars or three thousand dollars a given call at a delta at ninety five so normally what this is entailing is this individual is literally trading one on basically one one on one the equal equivalent of the stock so for example that call was around thirty dollars and seven thirty dollars and seventy cents so we duplicate that order uh, currently the price is kind of slightly lower uh, to around thirty probably fifty thirty fifty five right now if you want to kind of get the mid here the mid can be around three fifty the natural which is going to execute right away is around three sixty so literally ten dollars less than what the central paid again we're going to hit that confirm this is around seven thousand seven point six seven six million dollars this particular trade is looking into this is most likely going to be a hedge fund or as large uh, whale as we call in the market looking for a potential quick reversal uh, or it could be a quick day trade uh, just looking at getting the very high delta so the higher the delta the further in the money it's going to be and I want to give you a quick understanding of what's happening here. So this is the uh, options time and sales. The red means it doesn't mean that they sold it. I'll be 100% clear. I got some some people calling me an imbecile because I said, oh, the guy sold it. No, red doesn't mean he sold it. Red, it's between red, uh, yellow, white, and I think white is the yellow. Sorry, it's uh, red, uh, green, and white. White is basically the natural. Uh, the green, I believe, is the higher bid, and then the red is they what they kind of got the ask at. Um, that doesn't mean that they sold it or bought it. Um, that doesn't. Uh, you can kind of see here what the delta is on, it, especially with a put. Uh, it's going to have that negative delta. So that was just kind of clear that up. So this guy individual still bought these puts, but he bought it at a certain price, entailing that uh, he might have paid a premium for him. Anyways. That being said, I kind of wanted to clear that up because I got some negative feedback on that being called an idiot. So I just wanted to reconcile what was going on in the market. And you can kind of see when the things are highlighted, that means those options are in the money at the time of sale. So this person bought this. Uh, oh, this kind of went through. So this person, well, to give an example or highlight it on, he bought this in the money. Of course, the 300 call is in the money because we're trading well above 330 right now potentially uh, when he purchased this at 952 so that being said this individual again could be looking at a quick movement in the next two or three days some kind of catalyst or some kind of overall market move where this stock could just go up very very slightly again so if the stock moves about a uh, dollar so if it went to 331 uh, 331 uh, 331 dollars and it would go up just a buck that 95 Delta would exchange to about 
the it would move this overall price up a dollar as well. So that's going to be a very substantial move. Instead of getting a 0.5% move, this individual could get a 10% move in these options. But again, holding a much greater volume of holding. Again, one options contract is 100 shares of the underlying price. So we're looking just on these overall options of 7.6 million. If that was stock, that's going to be fairly expensive. So we're doing, we can do some quick math for you guys here. We'll pull up the calculator. Not cal. Do, 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 do. All righty, let's go here. Oh, please come smaller. So we're going to do 2,500. Uh, do that times 100, boom, so 200 to a quarter of a million, and then we have to times that by the overall price. So we do three, three, zero. That would be literal over one, two, three. Uh, is that seeing that right? One, two, yeah. So it'd be 82 million dollars if you wanted to invest the same amount. But with the options, um, giving him that liquidity and that the overall uh, uh, scale of using the margin in between his most likely his portfolio managed account and then giving him the really high leverage what options calls give you, um, he's able to do that with a fraction of the price. Again, initially could have cost him $82 million to kind of have the same holdings, but he's doing it for around seven to $8 million to be able to do the same trade. So again, this is just the overall power of options. Um, looking at this, looking at the charts again, kind of looking at what could be happening here. Overall, looking for Apple to continue going higher. It's been holding the five and eight uh, very well. Again, a couple days it kind of came through it, but it never really closed below the five and eight, which is a key sign of continuous momentum uh, and grinding higher, potentially trying to reach that uh, 353 uh, up here. Again, yeah, it's about 20, one twenty-two dollars away. That's quite so somewhat substantial, even though there's no earnings on the block or anything, no uh, known catalyst as of right now, potentially for the stock to continue higher. But just with the overall market uh, continue to rally, and Apple being a huge contributor to that market, we could be seeing some higher prices. Um, just even today, when it's just down uh, half a percent. Again, some warning levels would be once the, the tick starts closing below the five and eight, and then you start seeing the five and eight start going through the 21, and you start seeing the ticks close below the previous week and so forth. And then the RSI has been just really steady around 70 to 65, which is another great stance uh, with the overall strength. Momentum is looking great. The volume oscillator is looking wonderful. Uh, zooming out on a weekly chart, it looks really well. That V-shaped recovery is literally in place. Uh, just really just been trending higher again. It's going to be a huge, uh, not even near the RSI reading here on the weekly, which it could literally come up here and stay up there for weeks, even months at a time, uh, and continue trading higher. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, we're currently not in Apple, um, but this would be an intriguing position to get started in. Again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. We have a fantastic Discord chat you can join uh, completely free if I can pull that over my fat finger there we go that right there we have I did it we talked about I did a couple trades this morning around 4 a.m. trading some futures I'm sorry 358 a.m. there uh, we also have a patreon if you want to join that as well greatly appreciate it and we try to do some live streams I've been I traditionally do exactly one every Sunday at 9 or 8 30 Eastern Standard Time like last night we had a lot of people show up, it was a lot of fun, went through a lot of good uh, stocks and the overall prepping for this overall market for this week and getting some really great ideas thrown out there. Um, so go ahead and join those to subscribe and you'll see those updates coming out. Again, that's usually on Sundays and I've been trying to do one at least, trying to do one at least midweek or towards the end of the week to kind of wrap things up there as well for some questions and answers. Again, guys, thank you so much again for watching. This is Ken from The Dyslexic Investor and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.